X-ray holography. X-ray holography can be applied for imaging of internal parts of the body and living biological specimens with very high resolution. More importantly, this saves time as X-ray holography can be done without sample preparation. The procedure of how X-ray holography is done is as follows. The X-ray beam from a selenium X-ray laser falls on a narrow band X-ray mirror, which reduces the broadband X-ray background produced by the selenium laser. The mirror is a substrate with a flatness and roughness of more than 2 newton meter to preserve the coherence of the X-ray laser beam, and is coated with alternate 20 layers, each of silicon and molybdenum, to provide high X-ray reflectivity. This picture just shows the incident X-rays without it being reflected, but initially, the incident X-rays are reflected before passing through the mask. The FTH Fourier Transform Holography mask is made up of a 1 micrometer thick gold film on a silicon nitride membrane of 100 newton meter in thickness. The mask basically splits the X-rays into two separate waves due to the presence of two holes being present. These two holes are the reference hole and the object hole. The object wave will then illuminate the object. The wave that passes through the object will then interfere with the reference wave on the CCD camera. The reference wave is not to be confused by the wave that passes through the object. The reference wave is the wave that does not pass through the object. The hologram is recorded on a charge coupled device camera. This camera records the interference pattern of the reference wave and the object wave. Since the interference pattern is recorded on the CCD camera, the reconstruction of such a hologram can be performed numerically. A simplified overview will be the picture here, whereby the synchrotron radiation source is the source that produces X-rays. This system will permit the observation in real time, which will be incredibly useful for observing biological samples. Created using Powtoon.